I'm Kemali Ann, the senior legal officer in NEB. Today we appeared at Nabweru Court, Magistrate's Court, before her worship, um, Mukasa Sanyu, in a matter relating to examination malpractice. This examination malpractice is impersonation, aiding and abetting impersonation. The case arises from uh, a school at called Kawempe SS, where two students were sitting exams, one a male called Emmanuel Bagea and a female called Huda Naruoga. Emmanuel Bagea is a student of Janan Luum Secondary School, Senior 3, who was brought by his teacher, Mr. Chigozi Godfrey, to sit exams on behalf of Huda Naruoga. This anomaly was discovered by an invigilator who, while uh, invigilating the exam, she noticed that Naruoga Huda had written the name of Bagea Emmanuel, while Bagea Emmanuel had written the name of Naruoga Huda. The two were apprehended when they were taken to, they were taken to police to make a statement. This is when the two candidates informed police exactly what happened. Naruoga says the auntie is the one who hired services of Emmanuel, uh, Emmanuel Bagea by paying money for this child to sit exams on her behalf. The head teacher of Standard SS is the one who assisted in the registration of the students. The head teacher, Mr. Hamala Moses, who is A A1, registered both candidates knowing that Emmanuel Bagia is a student of, Lu of, Lu of Janan Luum, Senior 3. So the whole process was facilitated by the head teacher. That's why we are charging him for aiding and abetting an offense under Section 36 of the INEB Act. And the auntie who also aided and abetted this offense by paying for the services of, this, uh, of, 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 the, of the impersonator. Today, uh, A2, the auntie to the child, pleaded guilty and she was convicted on her own plea, sentenced to one year imprisonment or uh, she was uh, sentenced to a fine of 4.8 million, in default of which she serves a custodial sentence of one year. While Mr. Hamala Moses, the head teacher of Kawempe SS, was released on bail because this is an available offense, a non cash bail of 5 million, the case is coming up again on 7th November 2022.